What's going on, Jerome? It's a beautiful Thursday, and your Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, are looking for their quarterback of the future, since Kirk Cousins probably moving on, and whether it's Caleb Williams, probably going to Chicago at one, or Drake May. Hey, hey did you know that Drake May was coached in high school by a new Vikings quarterbacks coach, Josh McCown? Yeah, Josh not Luke. Mm. Uh, J.J. McCarthy's Dynamite, Jaden Daniels, Heisman Trophy winner, Skull SU. You can't really go wrong. It's honestly one of the best drafts uh, for quarterback prospects in NFL history. Now, that doesn't mean they're all going to turn out, of course. But in terms of prospects and hope, uh, the Vikings are there. And Quasey, this is what Quasey and Kevin O'Connell have been working for. Uh, the whole competitive rebuild, eventually it meant that you're going to have to find yourself uh, your young quarterback of the future. And, uh, of course, the Vikings may have to move up and go get him. And, fortunately, Quasey, for, former stockbroker, uh, former Wall Street guru, uh, is good with numbers and trades and stuff. Although, uh, I mean, some of his draft trades, like, I understand some charts, they work. But all the, how did he not get the Lions first round pick for 2023 uh, in the 2022 draft? Like, how did he not get the Lions future first rounder? But I, I, I digress. Uh, but the Vikings chilling at 11. Now, they can hope and pray and stick and pick that one of the quarterbacks falls to 11, one of the big four. I don't think that will happen. So I think that the Vikings will have to maneuver up, especially since you got hungry teams that are looking for a quarterback champion at the bit, whether it's the Broncos at 12, the Raiders at 13, the Steelers at 20, maybe even the Bucks at 26 if they don't uh, re-sign Baker. But the perfect spot for the Vikings to trade up to you because, well, first off, number one, the Bears aren't going to trade with the Vikings at one. Ain't going to happen, right? Number two, uh, Washington, it would make sense, but I feel like that's going to be – that's going to be kind of costly. That's not, we're talking about like three first round picks and change. Probably same thing uh, with the Patriots, but I, I do think that there's a sweet spot uh, in this draft trading up to number five, staying alive with the San, with the. I keep wanting to say San Diego, the Los Angeles Superchargers. Now, a couple of things that play here. So Quasey and Jim Harbaugh, new Chargers head coach, they go way back like chiropractic because. Quasey was in the R and D department with uh, with the 49ers when Harbaugh was head coach there, so they have that connection. Now, there, there could be bad blood uh, after the the whole debacle of the interview or coordination thing when Jim Harbaugh uh, two two off seasons ago flew in uh, to Minneapolis, uh, probably thinking he had the the Vikings job in the bag because he has guy Quasey as GM, uh, but it turned out to be an interview, and then they parted of the ways, and then Jim Harbaugh says, oh, I'm, I'm never going to the NFL again, and then two years later, won a natty, and then is now in the NFL, but I, I don't think that Harbaugh will hold that against Quasey, plus ultimately, I mean, Joe Horitz, uh, former uh, former Baltimore Ravens executive, is, is the, the new GM of the Chargers, so I, I don't think that's going to factor in. I mean, good good business is good business. And the Chargers are in an interesting spot because you have a new head coach, new regime. You already have your future franchise quarterback in Justin Herbert. Well, you have a quarterback in now. And they, they could be in the market for some wide receiver help. They're probably going to cut Mike Williams, maybe even cut Keenan Allen. Uh, so they could be looking for one of the tier one wide receivers. Uh, and also the, they could be looking for tackle help uh, along the offensive line or Sean Slater, who I think is a stud. I mean, do you keep him left tackle? Do you move him to right? Who knows? But the thing is, like, if the Chargers trade down to 11, th this draft is – it's rich and it's relatively flat up at the top in terms of what they're looking for uh, if they're specifically looking for a wide receiver or an offensive tackle or even edge rusher. Because you look at the big board, if they're looking for tackle, Alt probably is going to be off the board, but that's a gamble that you take. Uh, Fatanu could, uh, could be there. Uh, Fawaga could be there. Olu Fushanu could be there at 11. Wide receivers. So – Arizona's probably going to take a wide receiver, so you will be passing up on Malik Neighbors in all likelihood, but are you okay uh, taking Roma Dunze? Are, are you uh, okay taking Brian Thomas Jr.? Are you okay taking you know, Troy Franklin if they see him that high uh, and, and uh, acquiring future draft capital to help build your roster? Like If you're okay with that trade-off, I think the Chargers could be primed to move. Also, it's a spot, too, where... Uh, number five is perfect for the Vikings uh, in, in a, for a number of reasons. Number one... They won't be leapfrogged because I, I think that all right. So I, I think this realistically is how the top five is going to be. You know, barring a uh, team trading into the top three, which I, I know that there's well, there's reports is always like, well, Washington and New England will be primed to move down. I, I don't think that they're going to get those offers because I, I think that they're going to be absorbent in what they're demanding, and I think that they're both of those teams are in good position now to find their future franchise quarterback. So I, I think that they. Actually, probably stick and pick. Uh, I think that the Bears take Williams at one. Uh, I think that Washington takes Drake May or Jaden Daniels, uh, interchange uh, the names. Or hell, May, Daniels, McCarthy, 
just interchanging the names because who knows what order is going to be different strokes for different folks. Uh, you know, the teams want different attributes. Who knows? Uh, Patriots, I, I think take a quarterback at three because I think Gerard Mayo and company thinks, uh, thinks, okay, when are we ever going to be up there at three again? Let's find our future franchise guy and go from there. The Cardinals are interesting because it's pretty clear that the Cardinals you know, likely want the wide receiver one of this class and will probably get him very easily at number four, or they could go offensive lineman. They could uh, take Joe Alt, uh, left tackle uh, at four, but I, I, that means I don't think that they're going to move. I, I think that they're just, they're just going to stick and pick because any trade down situation is probably too far for what they're looking for. Because if they, hell, if they trade out of the top six or seven, they definitely lose out on Harrison and they likely lose out on Joe Walt. So I think that the Cardinals will just stick and pick and, and take their guy, which is great because five is suddenly open for business. And and, le- and like we said, the Chargers. They're not going to do business with the Broncos. They're not going to do business with the Raiders in all likelihood. So the Vikings, if they get up to five, they're not going to get leapfrogged, and they are going to get their guy. Now, it would have to be a spot where, so say take Caleb Williams off the board. It would have to be a spot where the Vikings are sold that May, Daniels, and McCarthy is the future. Or this is going to have to be a deal that plays out in real time on Thursday night in the first round uh, as the first four picks are in. Because if their guy, whether it's McCarthy, May, or Daniels, is available at five, then I could see them making the move. Right? Uh, but now it comes down to compensation. So going off the, you know, the Draft Tech updated 2024 trade chart. So... Future first-round picks are, are graded as the, the number 16 pick in the selection. So uh, future first-round pick one year down the road. Future first-round pick two years down the road is graded as the number 32 overall pick of the current draft in terms of uh, the value of time. Mm. Uh, but time is a flat circle. Mm. Uh, so you got the Chargers at five. Uh, that on the draft tech chart is worth 1,700 points. Uh, Vikings at 11 is 1,250. So if you package the their number 11 overall pick and the 2025 first-round pick, uh, which would be 1,000 points midway through the chart, it would beep, bop, 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 boop, uh, 2,250 versus 1,700. Now, the numbers never add up, and also the team doing the asking is always going to pay a little bit of a premium uh, versus the team uh, accepting the trade. So the team that's motivated to move up or down is always going to have to pay a little bit of a premium, which is fine. More uh, could, could the leverage be there that it could cost more of that? Sure. But in terms of the framework of a trade, uh, spending a first-round pick to move up six spots and, and secure your future franchise guy, I, I would certainly have uh, no problem with that. So, I mean, the Vikings are an interesting spot. I, I think that... They can't sit on their hands, though. If they want one of their guys, they're going to have to go get them, whether well, I think Williams is off the board. Uh, but it, whether it's May Daniels, McCarthy, if one of them is uh, is off, is out of the top four, go get them. If you're sold that they are your guy, go get them. But you have to be sold. Don't just take a quarterback just to take a quarterback. Don't have this be the Christian Ponder situation. But uh, I think if you're going to move up, move up, box out, uh, competitors that could be leapfrogging you and just go from there. So I, I, I do think that, uh, again, Quasey, Jim Harbaugh, they're back together again. Hopefully it's not awkward. Mm, who knows, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings, if they want to move up, number five is the sweet spot with the char- Chargers. Let us know uh, in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put the little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.